in reality you see the movie playing in your head on your projector. What you draw is what you see. The only problem is that people do the opposite. What they see is what they draw. Do you know the difference? A rich man wakes up in the morning and sees luxurious surroundings. He has breakfast in bed, goes out on the balcony with a beautiful view, and thinks it would be nice to ride on a yacht today, or maybe go to the Alps. That's how he states his reality. The poor man's mind is preoccupied with problems. He always thinks about it, because he can't see anything else. He looks in his wallet and figures out what he must deny to get through the month. He, too, states his reality and spins his movie. Both are drawing in their minds what is in front of their eyes. And it is confirmed again and again in their reality. But they did not put such movies in their heads by themselves. Circumstances are such that the former is lucky and the latter is not. But the principle of existence is the same for both. What I see, I sing about. What I sing about, I see. Again and again. Meanwhile, everything can change instantly for both the poor and the rich. In the movie that rolls around in life, all sorts of things happen. Both bad and good. The question is, how close to the heart a particular event is. If a rich man sees terrible omens in his picture, and it touches him to the core, and he begins to fear, ruin what happens? He unwittingly inserts a movie tape with an adverse scenario into his projector. The negative tape starts spinning there, and his worst expectations begin. Conversely, if the poor person notices that his things are getting better, it can be inspiring. His prospects open up. He begins to see the light at the end of the tunnel and believes he can escape poverty. And indeed, his reality is about to change. Because the projector is now spinning an optimistic scenario. What is the conclusion? Circumstances control people. An unfortunate event can knock a person out of his rut and leave a negative movie in his head. Similarly with luck. It comes as something external, independent of a person's will. It happens because a person is not the master of his projectors. Whatever tape there, he spins it passively and unconsciously. Thoughts are something that people are not used to control. They have learned to manage their actions but don't know how to manage their thoughts. It is easier to force yourself to do something than to think about something concrete. Imagine walking down the street somewhere with some purpose, but then a passerby comes to you, takes you by the hand, and quickly takes you wherever he wants. And you obediently and unwillingly follow him. Unreal? But this is what is happening to your thoughts. Become the master of your projector. Spin it not what you see, but what you want to see. By controlling the course of your thoughts, you control reality. Look around you. Most people are in a state of unconscious daydreaming. They're like receivers of some TV program broadcast from somewhere else. They are watching someone else's movie. You need to become a broadcaster and spin your own. Reality will not change immediately. At first, the same dull series will continue by inertia. However, if you persistently broadcast your intention for a long enough time, the new program's features will gradually change in the old show. Eventually, the new reality will completely replace the old one. It is how thoughts become reality. The only condition is the following. 
For a thought form to become a reality, it is necessary to focus on it systematically and for a long time. 